from a race point of view, and we're, let's call this the race left. The positive case starts with, hey, demographically, we're the future of the country. The positive case continues with, and we're already the Democratic Party. We're already the majority. And you can think about, and I recommend you read Steve Phillips. He's a Democratic strategist who says Democratic Party is making a billion dollar mistake because that's roughly how much they spend trying to win over white voters. Whereas in terms of what they spend trying to win committed black and brown voters who are already Democratic loyalists, it's about zero, roughly rounded. Right? And so, 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 this is, all right, so this is, Steve Phillips is already saying this. What else? Why? What's the class, what's the race left argument? Why go forward with race? We're the future, we're the, we're the present already, the Democratic Party. What else? <coughs> well, it doesn't avoid the issue. Yeah. It doesn't, it speaks to the reality, right? So I love the science saying, love Trump's hate. Right, and when you look at like the Women's March, what's pulling people out into the street is a sense that hate and fear and anger is being stoked in our communities and we need to talk about it. And talking about economics isn't addressing hate and fear and division. So when people say love Trump's hate, they're really part of what, what I'm gonna call the, the, the race left, which is saying <coughs> we need to focus on how our society is being torn apart. Okay, Does that, all right, so we've got a race left, we have a class left, they're both right, and they both completely contradict each other. Right? Because because the race left is like, hey, we gotta address racism. And and part of it is because racism, you think you think about police violence, mass incarceration, mass deportation, what's happening in our cities, it's so severe. We gotta address it. Right? And and here I think is, right, and it's not just racism, right? We have to understand racism. This isn't racism of the civil rights movement. This is racism of 2017. This is really where intersectionality comes in. If you're serious about racism, then you're serious about gender, you're serious about sexual orientation, you're serious about class, you're serious about disability, right? Because once you start thinking social hierarchy, it turns out all of those social hierarchies overlay, and what you're really talking about is a mass movement that says, we got to take seriously human rights in this country because it's human rights in this country that is being abused purposefully by the political right. That's what's happening. We got to address it. And now the class left says back to the race left, if you do that, you're going to piss off white folks. And the race left says, whatever. If that's what it is, that's what it is because we're not going to wait. We are not going to wait, right? And I don't know how many times you've been in conversations with activists where somebody says, you know, we're going to lose some white, some white voters. And somebody says, I am not putting off my demand for justice to make some bigot comfortable. Not going to do it. Not going to wait. Right? And so this is what the race left is saying. And the class left is saying, hey, we need economics because that's, that's really important. And it is, right? I mean, we've had this massive shift of wealth over the last 50 years. We have levels of wealth inequality we haven't seen in a century. People are really struggling financially. We all need that. This is inclusive. We would all be helped. But they're also saying, we're going to lose if you insist on talking about race. We're going to lose. Right? And so what we have is this divide. You've got a divided left. Part of it, and part of it, the institutional left, the Democratic Party is saying, we can only talk about economics because it's the only safe thing we can do. And the more activist left is saying, no way. This is about human rights, and I am not putting my human rights on the back burner to try and make anxious white voters comfortable. Not going to happen, done that too long. And that, I think, is where the left is. And that's the problem that we have to solve. <coughs> 